Uh, well, as you can see behind me, there are uh, tractors here along this motorway. This is one of the main roads entering Paris. It is the N20, about 30 kilometers south uh, from the French capital. And we are stopped here. This convoy is stopped here because uh, they are waiting for other farmers to join in, other farmers that are arriving uh, from another road. Now, the people I've been talking to here are indeed uh, very uh, angry and very unhappy at the situation. They say that, indeed, uh, this law you were talking about is called EGALIM, uh, which aims to indeed uh, enable the farmers to make more money from the produce which is distributed uh, across France in large shops. This was supposed to be a new round of negotiations uh, so that uh, indeed they could, uh, they could live better. Well, they say nothing has happened uh, for the time being. They also say that they're not in favor of uh, trade deals, international trade deals, such as the one between the European Union and the Mercosur or the one with CETA with Canada. They say this is uh, unequal. This this, this is um, unfair competition from these countries where the rules are different. They also say that the government is imposing too many new laws and regulations, and then that means uh, they cannot work properly. And last but not least, a lot of people here are talking about uh, these, uh, the, the people in Paris and large cities who are criticizing the way these farmers are working. They say it's extremely difficult for them uh, to be criticized uh, in this way, and they say that they cannot tolerate that there are attacks on some farms by, for example, the anti-meat uh, NGOs. They say the government has let them down on that, and they're expecting uh, some concrete measures and some help. James, is the government then likely to listen to this, do you think? Well, the farmers I was talking to, uh, they say they, that they're expecting the uh, Minister of uh, Agriculture to speak a little later on today. They don't know what's going to be said. They say that, indeed, uh, the, the, the new uh, big problem, which is the zone de non-traitement, the non-treatment non zones, which uh, are, would be defined in a new law that would authorise mayors to ban the use of uh, certain chemicals in the field next to villages or towns, that's supposed to come into force on the 1st of January. I reckon they very... They are hoping this uh, will not be implemented because that would make their job very, very difficult. So, indeed, they're expecting, they're waiting to see what the government will say. But one of the farmers were telling me that they're not expecting much today uh, from uh, this government. So, we'll see what comes out.